So today I am doing a review on the Barkay water bracelets that's supposed to help you getting soaked. And a little bit about me, my name is Kim. I own Fitness with Fido, which are fitness classes for you and your dog. And I'm also a dog groomer. So we're going to test these out today. All right, so these are Barkay 9 products. What it does is it's like a little bracelet to catch water from when you're bathing your dogs. Sometimes you end up soaked, so we're going to see if these work. I got long sleeves on to test them out, and I know they look a little funny, but if they work, then who cares, right? All right, let's see. All right, so we're going to test them and see how they do. And we'll see, I don't know if he's the perfect candidate for these. I might need, I might use Ike. It's cause I don't, he's pretty good at his bath, so. So when you're bathing your dog, I like to do the body first, the head last, before shampooing. Less chance of them shaking and you just really wanna get them wet all over. So that way they get a nice deep clean, especially with the shampoo. Help me! <laughs> so pitiful. <laughs> so you want to make sure you're using friendly uh, face wash when you're doing their face. So if any shampoo gets in their eyes, it doesn't hurt them or sting. I like to use Enviro Groom. I will link that in the comments. You want to really get those ears. You want to make sure you're not getting water and soap into the ears. So kind of hold the base of the ear and then just scrub going the other way. Get those cheeks under the face. That's the face you're always kissing all the time. So we want those all clean. And then make sure to dilute your shampoo as well. Not only will it last longer, but they're going to suds up more and you'll be able to spread it more, which means you'll clean them more and it'll be easier to rinse. And again, scrub their whole body. Make sure you're getting all the way down to the roots, their skin of the hair. Get under those armpits, the belly, their private area all four legs, the neck, the butt area, the tail, and scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And then it's time to rinse. So you wanna make sure you rinse really good. When you think you're done rinsing, rinse some more. And I also start with the head to get all the shampoo off of that first, and then just work my way down. And then also a thing to note, you want kind of a lukewarm temperature, not quite lukewarm. Want it a little cooler because dogs have higher body temperatures than us, so you want it a little cooler than what you would think feels good. And then again, when you're rinsing, you got the base of the ear, the water is going down, so water is not getting into the ear. So get the whole top of their body first, get all the soap off there, all where you soaked up, so that way the shampoo is running downwards. And then make sure to get under their belly because all that shampoo is going to accumulate there. Get under that tail. It's dirty down there so we want to keep it clean. So he's a pretty good example if he's standing still. I did forget to add at the beginning that uh, brush your dog first. That way the water gets through easily and the soap and to help prevent matting. And then also words, you want to dry them and brush them some more. You don't want that hair to dry in clumps. And like I said, when you think you're done rinsing, rinse again. If you leave soap in, 
they'll get itchy, or if you leave a lot of soap in, it will leave residue. And again, it will make them more itchy and they won't be as clean. All right. So I'm going to dry him off camera so I don't get the camera wet. And then I'll let you know how these worked out. Okay, so this is the first time using them. Uh, they seemed like they worked. This sleeve got a little bit wet. Uh, I don't know if it was maybe me leaning against the tub possibly. Uh, so I'm going to test him again with Ike because he's a bigger dog, a lot more hair. So he'll really put these to the test. So let me go try him again. Okay, so here is the real test. Since Ike is a much bigger dog with a lot more hair left. Oh, I know. He said, it's bath time. I wasn't dirty. Oh, I think you a little dirty. <laughs> so I just finished bathing Ike and I'm actually not that wet. Uh, so I do have to say they did do their job even though He's pretty good at his bath, so he doesn't like fight to try and get out. So uh, my sleeves are a little wet, but again, that was for me leaning against the tub. So overall, I do say they do what they say. I typically don't get that soaked when I am bathing dogs, unless I'm doing like a husky or a shepherd. So I probably wouldn't use these all the time. It would be when I ha know I have those dogs that are trying to get out of the tub or like shepherds and huskies who typically they got very thick hair they get really wet really just shake a whole lot and also during holiday season where you're bathing more dogs uh, I would definitely use these then so overall I would say they do work and they're only like ten dollars so I would definitely get you a pair or maybe for you all that bathe your dogs at home, you probably are a little messier. These might come in handy for you. So this is my review for the Bark Hay water bracelets. And they dry pretty quickly. So it looks like it's one size fits all. So I'm going to test it out with Owen since he has a much bigger wrist than I do. I know I'm kind of petite, so mine are small. So let's go check. All right. Will you try this on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it fits them. All right, do you want to bathe the dog and test it out? <laughs> it's like, uh, no comment, I have to work. So if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'll do grooming videos, fitness videos, anything about dogs, sometimes about people, and we would love to see you again. So hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.